Mr. Kelso is coming in. And we got the V2 pulling in. Look at that, that's so cool. So for most of you who do not know, welcome back to Ducati Biker Channel. We're here in beautiful Alsace, dans les Vosges. We have two Multistrada V4S's. We have a V2 Multistrada, which you just saw drive by. And also we have the brand new 2022. Ducati Desert X. This bike is awesome. We've been presented, uh, this bike was presented to us in Mizano when we arrived here in Europe for the first time. And I was so excited to have this bike, but I didn't have too much time to uh, ride it. My actual first ride I had with this bike was at the uh, circuit, or the World Circuit, where we all rode together as a group ride, and it was absolutely fun. Oh, there you go. I hear another Multistrada coming in. This is really cool. So as I'm trying to shoot this review for the Desert X, as you can see, we have another of the Multistradas coming in. And there we go, we got Michael. There you go, just coming right through with the multi. This just shows you on how versatile, and well, as you can see behind me, we're attacking the back roads, and then we also have the Desert X uh, to attack the dirt roads as well, as well as the multi so it's really cool. Either way, getting back to the Desert X, we have this bike here. We rode at the World Circuit with a huge group ride, the big Ducatista group ride. We rode it to and from our, our um, Airbnb in Italy, but then we got it back again to do some touring here in Alsace and also all over Europe. So. Though this review is going to be more about a feeling. How do we relate to the bike? What do we compare it to? Obviously every Ducati is its own. So we're really grateful to have this bike here out in Alsace because we're able to do some amazing roads out here in Le Vosges on and off road with this bike. And um, I just want to speak to you a little bit about how I feel about it, how my team feels about it, and uh, who are you as a rider and why would you actually get this bike? Because we all know it's designed to do the desert. It's so a Desert X off-roading, whether you're in the forest or the desert, Dubai, sands, you could jump it. We've seen some guy get completely flat tabletop at a motocross track with it. The bike is just pretty much your number one off-road bike. Everything about this bike is brand new. Um, there's nothing that's been remodeled. It's just a completely new redesign. And long story short, how I feel about this motorcycle, it is my off-road hypermotard. That's right. If you have a Hypermotard 950 SP and you love it for being the Hypermotard with the street bike, uh, street tires, and you don't want to ride anything else, you get yourself a Desert X. You'll feel the same way, you could drop it the same way, you could stand up the same way, and it actually has a little bit more to offer, obviously, on the off road. But since I've been riding it here in Le Vosges, it does a really, really good job on road as well. We're actually going to stop by a Ducati dealership and see if Pirelli can help us out, and we're going to actually put some street tires on this because we're going to be doing a lot more on road touring with it versus the off road. By the way, as you can see, we're in a dirt lot. We got the drowns behind us. We've already gone after it a little bit and we're gonna show you that footage as well. Overall, this bike, I feel like it does a really good job touring. You have an upright position, you're comfortable, you have cruise control, you have a whole new dash and you have that Dakar rally feeling. But either way, for a tall person like myself, um, it, feels, it feels really comfortable and I enjoy that. The gas as well, you could almost go up to like 200 uh, kilometers on this big tank right here. And this is not even an accessory package because you can even get an aftermarket tank on the back. So that makes it really nice as well. Um, what I feel like this bike will be used more for, obviously yes, it's for off-roading, but they made a lot of good options to make it to where it's comfortable for the city or the town or whether you're commuting. I also feel like they designed the look so it could be modern, so you could also drive it in the city. So this will be also very comfortable. We had it in Amsterdam for a little bit against the Multistrada V4S and hopping over the canals, cruising over through the streets. It gives you a lot of versatility and it feels really nice, especially with the second passenger on the back. So I feel like the person who's gonna get this bike, it's either gonna be their second motocross or dirt bike in the garage, or they're gonna have this bike for the city and the town because it looks 
modern. It's really cool if you were to customize the windscreen, which you wouldn't have to because this thing works excellent. It pushes the air directly up if you're touring. One of my favorite features about this. But when you remove it, you get that whole Cafe Racer Scrambler Desert X look. So that's really cool. And we obviously love the LED lights right here when you turn that on. They're going for that futuristic, new, modern look. So that's why we like it. It looks cool. It matches the suit we're getting after here on the roads and it has heated grips, traction control, it has all these different, there's a rally mode on it which completely turns everything off when you're off-roading, that way the ABS is not getting in your way when you're trying to brake and you have to, in the bike slide you have an enduro mode which just allows you to set different engine settings as well as whether you're standing up or you're grabbing the throttle a little bit while you're trying to gas and give it some brake around so there's no hesitation with an electronic flying the motor and then you also see you have your wet mode or if you're completely wet, motor helps, suspension adjusts, everything like that and it just makes it it's like a baby Multistrada, not a V2, but just a baby V4S Multistrada with the hypermortard feel, grunt and pop and pull with that extra long, long top end high speed that we've kind of wanted and been looking for. So stay tuned. We got a lot of cool footage and content coming your way. We're really happy to be riding and doing and developing some content with this bike. We'll do more of a specification and electronics review after I've worked with it more. This is more of a personal onboard and riding review. So I'm about to hit the road. We're gonna about to get some shots. And thank you again, Ducati Benelux. This is a fantastic bike to tour on and we just can't wait to do more with it. Everyone stay tuned because we'll do more multiple reviews with this new Desert X. Other than that, if you guys like this page, if you have anything to comment on the bike, make sure you write in the comments below. Also uh, hit the subscribe button because uh, you should if you enjoy uh, sharing the love and joy of Ducati motorcycles. And that's why we're here. We're in beautiful areas like this with beautiful bikes, talking about how we feel, expressing ourselves in nature. And that's all about sharing love and joy about these motorcycles. So thanks guys, and we'll see you soon. All the way here in France. Hey, what's up everyone? We're gonna do a sound check of the Desert X here in Les Vosges. Let me put this thing in neutral before it takes out from under my feet and I make a big mistake. Ready? And don't worry, she's already warm. We've been riding her all day. Oh yeah. Woo! Got some cracking and some popping. And some, some popcorn, pop chicken. They make a full turn me system for this. It's gonna sound a lot nicer, I can't wait. When you're riding it, downshifting, it goes, it goes like, blah, 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 like that. And it's really, really nice. Moving on. <laughs>